has autism. A lifelong condition that affects his ability to communicate and connect with people. It is a great challenge for him to express even his basic needs, such as I want water, or even to call his mom. Usual things like colors, light, smell, touch, may feel painful to him. For example, Andrew's mom decides to put a new picture in his room. When Andrew first enters that room, he starts crying and he refuses to go in. You might think that this is a spoiled child, but in fact, this is the beginning of the crisis, of the tantrum. He is hypersensitive to colors and changes in his environment. Autism symptoms vary a lot between individuals, and this may affect their life in different ways. You may believe that autism is a rare disorder, but in fact, there are more than 10 million people around the world that have this diagnosis. And is there a cure for autism? No, there's not. Some people need lifelong assistance, but best treatments that they can have, they are behavioral intensive therapies. And they have to start at a very early age. You may all know that this type of therapies involve lots of resources. Time, work, money, people, such as psychologists, parents, speech therapists, teachers, and everybody working in this therapeutical process. For example, Andrew has five hours per day of therapy. How exhausting could that be for both of them? You are probably telling yourself it must be something, some technological tool, some application in the app store that can be downloaded and then can help their life, can improve something. Actually, there are hundreds of thousands of applications and each of them claim to have the perfect feature for your child. Parents, in their desperate need to help their children buy this application, test it. They hope that this could improve their abilities. But they don't make any difference in terms of developing abilities because they lack empirical support. So there was no study no clinical trial to prove their effectiveness. And no one single application can represent the perfect tool for them children. As a psychologist, through my work with children with autism, I found that they need to be learned how to express themselves, how to communicate. They need predictability, they need simplicity, and they need constant reinforcement. I believe that technology has the potential to offer all of these things, but we need to go and to move forward, to have a more holistic approach, to integrate technologies in order to develop an effective assistance tool for those people. So, imagine Andrew. He receives a notification from his phone through his task assistant that he needs to take a shower, to do his homework, and then play a game. This is what Andrew needs, predictability. In this way, he knows the entire program for the day. Afterwards, he goes and does his homework through his learn assistant, which can learn him 
new words to express himself. Words that can be then used in order to communicate with his mother or with his colleagues. Also, small interactive animations can provide Andrew the feedback that he needs, and this reinforces his positive behavior and motivates him to keep doing the task, to be involved in the task. His personal monitor is collecting data regarding his heart rate, skin conductance, and all these data are available for teachers and parents, and so they can detect and recognize if Andrew is in distress, and then they can intervene to prevent the tantrum, the crisis. All this information are communicated to the control center, to psychologists and their parents, and they can see the improvement of Andrew's performance. And they can know what type of environment and condition may cause him distress. This ecosystem of applications, devices, people, used all together may help Andrew to make a better sense of the world. <coughs> By learning fast, in a simple way, and using a system that can be adapted for his interests, needs, and age. For example, imagine Andrew as a teenager that can be helped by his learning assistant, how to say catchphrases in order to invite girls out. Why not? The problem is this ecosystem does not exist. We want to make it real. We, at for Autism, believe that this ecosystem can enable people with autism to lead a normal life. Our goal is not to create just another commercial application. We want to make a difference for those lives that for now are isolated on the margin of the society, unable to benefit humanity of their unexpressed views of the world.